All right, sorry about that. Part two. Um, I'll just begin from the start of the paragraph here. Dawkins assumes, as he also assumes of an infinitely greater matter, namely God, that believers must be supposing, without adequate evidence, that there are locatable creatures having certain natural characteristics which would require explanation within a scientific and evolutionary theory. One can easily write stories, and science fiction writers often have, in which it turns out that there are beings of whom one may truly say a great many of the things that have been said about God, the gods, fairies, and dragons. In some of the stories, it will be suggested that it was indeed those beings that lay at the historical root of what has been fabulously reported. Consider Frank Herbert Kem, uh, who wrote in 1968, immortal but all too human extraterrestrials who have treated Earth as a source of entertainment for millennia. Einsteinian relativity theory has even given writers the option of taking the temporal distortions of fairyland seriously. A trip to fairy is a trip at near light speed, and the human victim is restored to her home only after many years that passed for her in one long night. Some science fiction extraterrestrials are even world makers and converse with their chosen people through gadgets disguised as cult objects. Maybe the Ark of the Covenant was a hyperspatial transmitter, and Joseph Smith's angel was a junior attaché at the Soul 3 station. Such stories, of course, are exactly ear-religious. If they turned out to be literally true, theists would not feel vindicated but abused. That there really was, and thanks to advances in galactic medicine still is, a chief architect of Sol, who did indeed design the world and spoke to selected auto chithons in very much the same style recorded, cannot be what theists have meant by God existence. Even if the architect made more than Earth, and is the undisputed head of Mega Big Incorporated, galactic engineers, the eleven dimensional intelligences who made our cut price, cut price universe, no trace of religious awe can be attached to him, to her, or to them. Hume's Cleanthes may believe that such a being deserves our worship, but the genuinely religious would insist that a being who was merely contingent, external, and morally dubious could not be God. Nothing that is worthily or rightly called God is the sort of thing that might or might not exist, depending on other factors not of his contrivance. God names, or gestures towards, that which is at the root of our own present being, the true and original Atman, and which cannot coherently be judged wanting. No image of God is more than a façon de parleur. I'm not sure what that means, maybe you do. And big, uh, and mega big incorporated is as distant from and as close to the infinite beginning as the most insignificant and unpretentious woodlouse. In speaking of God as if he were a being alongside us, science fiction writers may convey some truth. As fables and anagogical fantasies, they may serve as well as Milton. <clears throat> but if someone would, were literally and ordinarily to believe in Mega Big Incorporation, Incorporated, she would not be believing in God. Mega Big might or might not, may or may not exist. In possible worlds where it does, it isn't God. In worlds where it doesn't, God does, since nothing can be a world at all that is not grounded in the One. Science fiction fables that purport to be about the Creator really report cases of mistaken identity. If it really was Mega Big that spoke to Moses, Moses was deceived. 
and the real-life discovery that this mega-big exists would be as traumatic as the discovery that one spouse was really a chem, a robot, or a fairy. Not that the pious would need to abandon their belief in God, but that they would have to admit that much of their information about God came from a dubious source. Would a similar discovery about fairies similarly discommode believers? If most stories about fairyland turned out to be somewhat distorted accounts of visits to the nearer stars or to an alongside natural universe, yeah, 